Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect, where transformation happens and knowledge is power. Thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table for today's message. And it's going to be through the Goddess Guidance Oracle Deck. Beautiful Deck by Doreen Virtue. And uh, our message is a What Next? Twin Flame Focus. A three-day oracle message. Yes, this is our What Next? <clears throat> Twin Flame Focus. Three-day oracle message. For Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, November 8th, 9th, and 10th of 2019. So let's just get right to it. I have pre-shuffled, so we're just going to shuffle some more and get right to the reading, or I should say the message. You know, it's wording is everything, and, you know, I'm trying to not confuse any issues or create any issues with my words. So, you know, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, my messages are channeled uh, through my Divine Spirit and the oracles invited to the table. So let's see what today's message brings us for our What Next? For the Twin Flame Focus for a three-day oracle message for... Friday, November 8th, November 9th, and November 10th. So here we go. Let's drop some cards for this focus, you know. Ah, already starting out with a stack. Let's knock them back. Three cards, please, spirit. This is all we really need. Three cards for this message for us to see. Pop it out. So that's two. One more is all we need, Spirit, to make this message complete. And we will accept whatever we need to. Whatever comes out, whatever messages need to be heard and received. One more card, Spirit. That's three. We're going to take the top one, it says. Oh, of course. So, let's see what we got going on here. This uh, message is... You know, three cards, three days. It's a group me grouping of cards here for the message. So one card may resonate and not the other, <clears throat> or all three, and we'll tell a storyline. <clears throat> I'll read the card and see what I get out of it, and then I will read the book and see what the message is. Our first card is... Artemis, the guardian. And she has her bow and arrow drawn, ready, aim, fire, right? Fire sign could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be a Sagittarius fire sign. We have animal spirit in the back joining the adventure. Right? You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Let's see what the message says in the book. For Artemis, the guardian. Like me, you have a sacred mission to spread love and light. Yet this isn't a position that comes from tension or worry. 
Instead, the gentle essence, the gentle essence of a joyful heart and a light-hearted laughter sets your power into motion. So even though you're armed and ready, you're keeping your sense of humor about you, aren't you? No, it's always important to be light-hearted and laugh. Because that's positive energy and that sets things in motion, right? Why would you, you know, want to be where you weren't safe or weren't comfortable? I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to go where you're not safe or comfortable. But are you sure you're listening to your intuition? Your prayers have activated the flawless protection of heaven. So ease your mind of all cares and concerns and concentrate instead upon your holy mission. So let go of your worries. Okay? You're all being taken care of. You got heat. You got food if you want it. Or you got protection both ways. All the way around. I mean... Any which way you go, you're covered. You're guarded. You're protected. Heat, protection, all your needs are being met there. All your needs are being met. Yamanya, Yamanya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. And that's like a mermaid. Beautiful. Playful. Joyful. Basking in an emotion of bliss and pleasure, it looks like. With her kin, the dolphin right there. Spiritual. Spiritual guidance, protector. Full of knowledge. Free spirit. Let's see what her message is, right? Like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything, so when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at that moment. Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet, if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along just as the tides wash in and out continuously. It's like the digestive system. It's always moving, hopefully, right? In and out, tides, right? Like the ocean, life is rich with variety and beauty. Enjoy experiencing it various, its various rhythms and allow all doubts to be washed away. So again, let go and be free. Let the divine plan fall into place and, and move forward. No more obstacles, no more hesitation. Opportunities coming. I told you. Something big is coming. Look at that. They're celebrating. They know. Yamanya knows. Golden opportunity is coming. Something big. You got your guard up. And that's okay. But don't have it so high that... You're not going to trust this opportunity. You'll know. You need to trust it. You'll know what to trust. Follow your intuition. Right? Don't hesitate. This is the right thing to do. Your prayers are being answered. Get ready for a big and happy change. Celebrate your success. Know that you're qualified and ready for this new opportunity. Yamanja. Yamanji. Yamanji, I guess, is how you pronounce it, not Yamanya. Yamanji, 
is an African and Brazilian goddess who is credited with creating the sea. Every December 31st, people of Brazil celebrate Yumanji by casting white flowers and miniature boats upon the sea waters. You can work with her, ask her for her help to help grant your wishes. Hmm? protector, a supplier, and one who grants wishes. A protector, guardian, you're protected. A plan, a divine plan is in play here for us twin flames. So keep your eye on the prize. That's the focus. Don't worry. Let your worries go. You are protected. Divine plan is in action here. Look. There's celebrations going on because they know behind the scenes what's happening, right? So let's see what the butterfly maiden has to say to tie it all together. Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely a story is being told here. And the most important thing we can do is stay in faith with the divine. Okay, butterfly maiden, transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Okay, again, something big is coming. Major transformation is taking place. Look at that. All these butterflies around. Soul tribe may be coming. Look at divine feminine. Is this you? Or is this the Divine Masculine? Finally, you know, having a connection with self. Both sides of his self. Higher self. Hmm? Well, whoever is experiencing this, or both, the, trans, uh, the transformation is taking place for both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Union is close. The work needs to be finished, but this is like happening. So after this takes place, alignment with divine, the transformation takes place and you attract. Abundance is what's left. Abundance is the reward. As you go through this period of change, it's natural for you to wonder if your future is safe. I'm here to assure you that you're part of nature's cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. To bring in your desired newness, you must first allow old parts of your life to fall away. These changes are to be celebrated, not feared. Give thanks for this shedding of the old. Embrace all of the lessons it brought, and then let it go. Be giddy with excitement at the newness of the gifts that are now being bestowed upon you, and let their magic surprise and delight you. It's happening for a reason. Okay? Don't be concerned about endings as they're bringing in new for you. Okay? For when, everything that has an ending, there is a new beginning. Okay? Your prayers, your meditations, your work, your, all your work is going to pay off. Prayers are being answered. Like, just let go of the old so you can receive the new. Right? Don't worry about the changes because it is definitely for our higher good. And this is the Hopi Nation American Conchina spirit who ensures that crops yield healthy and bountiful harvests. She's a springtime goddess who helps us escape from an from any cocoon situation that's trapping us or impeding our growth or joy. If you're feeling stuck, she's a wonderful goddess to call upon during the emerging, emerging process. Mm. So, what's next? A golden opportunity. What's our focus? Keep our eye on the prize. 
be solid and sure of our intentions. Right? You and your loved ones are protected and safe. Ready for this golden opportunity to take place. Because important doors are being opened by spirit. Walk through them. Don't hesitate. Great transformations are at hand. And with that comes abundance and union. Most definitely a good plan. On that note, thank you for joining my divine spirit and I and the goddesses at hand to give us this message of great opportunity and transformation. You can count on one thing. One thing you can count on always is change. When you roll with the change, all is well. Hope uh, this resonates with someone, some of you or all of you. If you like and hear what you see, if you're liking what you're hearing and seeing, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, 1111 Butterfly Effect. And help us grow, continue to grow and spread the news, the good news of this twin flame journey. That uh, we all should be out here helping each other because the more of us there are, the stronger the collective and the stronger the collective, the greater we have the hope of healing the world. Till next time, thanks again. Bye-bye.